Good day, grade 11. This is teacher Riza, and this is our lesson 2 or module 2 for week 1, Evaluating Functions. With learning competency, evaluate functions. And our objectives for this lesson are recall the process of substitution, identify the various types of functions, and evaluate functions. In our previous lesson, we discussed function, and we have here the types of function. Constant function is in the form of f of x is equal to b, where b here is constant. For example, we have function of x is equal to 5. So whatever will be the value of x, function of x is still equal to 5 because 5 here is constant. The next we have identity function, that is function of x is equal to x. For example, we have function of 3 is equal to 3. So whatever will be the value of x, still that will be the value of function of x or y because that is an identity function. The next we have quadratic function is in the form of function of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus z, where a is not equal to 0 and a, b, c are constant. For example, we have function of x is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 12. Then we have also polynomial function that is in the form of function of x is equal to a raised to 0 plus a raised to 1, x plus a raised to 2, x raised to 2 plus a raised to n and x raised to n where n is a non-negative integer for example we have function of x is equal to 2x cubed minus x squared plus 3x minus 5 we have also cubing function as in the form of function of x is equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d where a is not equal to 0 and a, b, c are constant. For example, we have function of x is equal to 5x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 5. And rational function is in the form of function of x is equal to p of x over q of x, where in p of x and q of x here is a polynomial function, where q of x is not equal to 0. For example, we have function of x is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 over x squared minus 4. Then we have also exponential function. It's in the form of f of x is equal to a b raised to x, where x is the exponent and a and b are constant. Example, we have f of x is equal to 2 raised to x. We have also a logarithmic function, where in logarithmic function is the inverse of exponential function. is in the form of f of x is equal to the logarithm of x to the base of b, where x is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0 but not equal to 1. For example, we have function of x is equal to log of 25 to the base of 5. So to evaluate functions means we're going to replace the variable in the function with the value from the function's domain and computing for the result. If we are evaluating f at x for some x in the domain of f, f then we're going to write function of x. We have learned that in algebraic expression, letters can stand for numbers. And to find the value of the expression, there are two things that you have to do. So first, replace each letter in the expression with the assigned value. Means we're going to replace each letter in the expression with the value that has been assigned to it. To make your calculation clear and avoid mistakes, Always enclose the numbers you're substituting inside the parentheses. The value that's given to a variable stays the same throughout the entire problem, 
even if the letter occurs more than once in the expression. However, since variables vary, the value assigned to a particular variable can change from problem to problem, just not within a single problem. Then second, perform the operations in the expression using the correct order of operations. Once you've substituted the value for the letter, do the operations to find the value of the expression. Don't forget to use the correct order of operation. First, do any operations involving exponents, then do multiplication and division, and finally, do addition and subtraction. So for example, so given we have function of x is equal to 2x minus 4, wherein we're going to find the value of function if x is equal to 3. So we have here the solution wherein given the value of x is equal to 3 and the given function is f of x is equal to x minus 4. So we're going to substitute 3 for x in the function. So change x now by 3, so that's 2 times 3 minus 4. Then next, simplify the expression on the right side of the equation. So that means function of 3 is equal to 2 times 3 is 6 minus 4. And that is equal to 2. So we have function of 3 now is equal to 2. Next example, evaluate q of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 2 if x is equal to 3. So to solve, the value of x is equal to 3 and the given function is q of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 2. So again, we're going to substitute the value of x which is equal to 3. So change x by 3. So we have q of 3 is equal to 3 squared minus 2 times 3 plus 2. Then, do now the operation. So first we're going to do the square of 3, that's 9. Then negative 2 times 3 is equal to 6, negative 6 plus 2. And that is equal now to Q of 3 is equal to 5. Then third, we're going to evaluate H of X equal to square root of X minus 1, wherein X is equal to 5. So value of x is 5 and the given function is h of x equal to square root of x minus 1. So substitute the value of x. So this h of 5 is equal to square root of 5 minus 1. And h of 5 is equal to 5 minus 1 is the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is positive 2 and negative 2. So therefore h of 5 is positive 2 and negative 2. Then, for we have evaluate r of x is equal to 2x plus 1 over x minus 1. So, this is a rational function, wherein x is equal to 2. So, substitute now the value of x to the given function. So, that's r of 2 is equal to 2 times 2 plus 1 all over the value of x, which is 2 minus 1. So, we have now 2 times 2 is equal to 4 plus 1 and 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So we have now R of 2 is equal to 5 over 1 or that is equal to 5. So function of 2 is equal to 5. Then next we have evaluate P of X is equal to 3X squared plus 5X minus 2 which is a an X, uh, quadratic function. Okay where the value of x is equal to negative 1. So the given function, so substitute again the value of x, which is negative 1. So that p of negative 1 is equal to 3 times negative 1 squared plus 5 times negative 1 minus 2. So we have now p of negative 1 is negative 1 squared is 1 times 3 is 3 and 5 times negative 1 is negative 5 minus 2. So therefore, function of negative 1 is equal to 3 minus 7 or that is equal to negative 4. Then next, we have evaluate g of x is equal to 5x plus 2. Where we're going to find for this time g of x plus 1. So the value of 
x here is x plus 1. So, substitute now x by g of x plus 1, then change x by 5 times that is x plus 1 plus 2. Then after that, we're going now to simplify by multiplying 5 times x, that is 5x, and 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2. So, g of x plus 1 now is equal to 5x and the sum of 5 and 2 is equal to 7. The next, we're going to evaluate v of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 2, wherein we're going to find v of 2x minus 3. So, the given value is 2x minus 3. So, substitute to the given function. So, change v now by 2x minus 3 is equal to x is 2x minus 3, then squared minus 2, change x by 2x minus 3 plus 2. Okay, so 2x minus 3 squared is the square of a binomial. Remember that the shortcut method for this is we're going to square the first term, that is 2x, which is equal to 4x squared, then multiply the first term and the second term, that's 2x minus 3 is negative 6x, then double that, that will be negative 12x, then the last term, square the last term negative 3, that will be equal to positive 9. So therefore, v of 2x minus 3 now is equal to 2x minus 3 squared is equal to 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. Then negative 2 times 2x equal to 4x and negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6 plus 2. Then after that, we're going to combine like terms wherein we have v of 2x minus 3 is 4x squared combining negative 12x and negative 4x then all the constant term 9 plus 6 plus 2. Then we have now 4x squared minus 12x negative 4x equal to negative 16x then 9 plus 6 plus 2 is equal to 17. So therefore function of 2x minus 3 is equal to 4x squared minus 16x plus 17. Now it's your turn to solve. So this is the independent practice in your module which is entitled tell fill me. So we're going to evaluate the functions by filling up the missing parts of the function. So given we have function of x is equal to 3x minus 5, so you're going to find function of 2. Okay, so that means you're going to substitute x by 2, so that's 3 times 2 minus 5, so what's your answer? Okay, so the correct answer is 5, function of x is equal to 1. The number 2, g of x is equal to 3 times the absolute value of 2x. So, you're going to find g of x. Okay, so change x by 6. So, that's g of 6 is equal to 3 times 2 and the value of x is 6. Okay, so if your answer is g of 6 is equal to 36, you're correct. Number 3, we have function of a is equal to the absolute value of a minus 2. So, you're going to find k of negative 9. So, substitute the value of k or the value of a which is negative 9. So, k of negative 9 is equal to the absolute value of negative 9 minus 2. Okay, so if your answer is 7, so that means you're correct because k of negative 9 is equal to positive 7. For number 4, p of a is equal to negative 4a minus 2. So, we're going to find p of 2a. So now we're going to change a by 2a. So we have p of 2a is equal to negative 4 and the value of a is 2a minus 2. And we have now p of 2a is equal to multiply negative 4 times 2a is negative 8a minus 2. So we have now p of 2a is equal to the common factor of negative 8 and negative 2 is negative 2. So we have negative 2 times the quantity of 4a plus 1. And for number 5, we have g of t is equal to 2 squared minus 2. So, you're going to find g of negative 2. So, g of negative 2 is equal to change t by negative 2 squared minus 2. Okay, you're correct. g of negative 2 is equal to 2. And for the independent assessment, find my value. You're going to evaluate the following function and write your solution in a separate sheet of paper. That's 1, 2, 3. And for 
to assess what you've learned from this lesson, this is your activity 1.2, which is a multiple choice. You're going to choose the best answer, but you're going to solve you, uh, and explain your answer. So show your solution. If there's no solution, then explain your answer. Okay, that's one to four. Then we have five, six, seven, eight. Then we have nine, 10, 11, and 12. Then 13, 14, and 15. I hope you've learned something from this lesson. Already know how to evaluate a function. So before we end this lesson, let me share this quotation according to Brian Herbert. The capacity to learn is a gift. The ability to learn is a skill. The willingness to learn is a choice. Again, this is Teacher Riza saying thank you and please stay home and stay healthy. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Thank you.